Welcome to my tutorial. Today's video will concentrate on repeated measures analysis of variance. This table shows the results of an experiment in which blood cholesterol was measured in seven subjects 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. After each subject had been treated with one of each of three drugs, drug 1, 2, 3, one at a time. There's the hypothesis that the mean blood cholesterol level is the same regardless of treatment. The no hypothesis states that the mean cholesterol is the same in individuals on all three drugs, while the alternative hypothesis states that the mean cholesterol is not the same in individuals on all three drugs. Step 2 is to create a column for the square of each drug. So here we are expected to create a column for the square of drug 1, drug 2, and drug 3 respectively. So we succeeded in creating a column for the square of drug 1, drug 2, and drug 3. Step 3 says sum the drugs and subjects and determine the grand total. Summation of drugs is represented with summation D. 1, 6, 4 plus this, plus this, plus this, plus this, plus this, lastly plus this, gives this, 1, 5, 2, plus this, plus this, plus this, plus this, plus this, lastly plus this, 1, 7, 8, plus this, plus this, plus this, plus this, plus this, lastly plus this. Let's also proceed to summing the subjects, 1, 6, 4, plus this, plus this, gives this, 202 plus this plus this 143 plus this plus this 210 plus this plus this this plus this plus this this plus this plus this 161 plus this plus this 483 now let's proceed to finding the grand total by adding up all these values here or by adding all this this plus this plus this or this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this gives this. Now let's proceed to getting the square of each of the drugs. 164 square gives this. 202 square. Square of this. The square of this. The square of this. The square of this. Lastly, square of 161. Now let's proceed to summing all this. 26896 plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this lastly plus this gives this now we also get the squares of drug 2 152 square 181 square square of this square of this square of this square of this lastly square of this now let's sum out this 23104 plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this let's get the square of the third drug square of 178 square of this square of this square of this square of this 182 square lastly the square of 165 gives this value now let's add all these values together 31684 plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this now let's get the grand total of all the squares this plus this plus this let's find the total observations total observations is represented with n and is 3 3 being the number of drugs drug 1 2 3 times 7 7 being the number of subjects that is 1 to 7 so 3 times 7 to calculate correction factor correction factor cf is it called the square of this divide by n and n value is 21 calculate total sum of squares total sum of squares equal this value minus correction factor value gives this we also record this in an ANOVA summary table total sum of squares let's find subject sum of squares subject sum of squares equal square of this value plus the square of this value plus the square of this plus the square of this plus square of this plus square of this lastly plus square of the divide by number of drugs of course we have drug one two three minus correction factor value so all these values divide by three minus correction factor value equal also record this in our ANOVA summary table 
subject sum of squares. Now let's proceed to finding within subject sum of squares. Within subject sum of squares equal total sum of squares minus subject sum of squares. Let's proceed to finding drug sum of squares. So drug sum of squares equal the square of this value plus the square of this value plus the square of this value. Divide by number of subjects. Remember we have seven subjects minus correction factor value. So this divide by seven gives this minus correction factor value. Drug sum of squares. Let's proceed to calculating remainder sum of squares. Remainder sum of squares will be this value minus this value. Okay. Remainder sum of squares. Let's proceed to calculating total degree of freedom. So our total degree of freedom is m minus 1 and our m value is 21. So we have 21 minus 1. Total degree of freedom, 20. Now let's calculate subject's degree of freedom. Remember we have 7 subjects. So our subject degree of freedom will be 7 minus 1. Subject's degree of freedom, 6. Let's also calculate within subject's degree of freedom. Within subject degree of freedom equal 20 minus 6. Let's find drugs degree of freedom. Remember we have 3 drugs. So our drug degree of freedom will be 3 minus 1. Drug degree of freedom 2. Now let's proceed to find the remainder degree of freedom. Remainder degree of freedom is subject degree of freedom being 6 times drug degree of freedom being 2. Of course 6 times 2 gives. Let's look for drug mean of squares. Drug mean of square equal drug sum of square being this divide by drug degree of freedom. Let's find remainder mean of squares. So remainder mean of squares equal remainder sum of squares divide by remainder degree of freedom. Remainder mean of squares. Let's find f value. F value equal drugs mean of square divide by remainder mean of square. Which gives now let's proceed to finding the critical value of f that is f at 0.05 of course we are talking about one way and over and our drug degree of freedom is 2 this 12 here represents the remainder degree of freedom this takes us to our f table so this is our f table we are looking at our drugs degree of freedom 2 and our remainder degree of freedom 12 so we trace this then to 12 that gives this value so our f critical is 3.89. Next is to reject or accept null. Rejecting or accepting null basically depends on the value of f value and f critical. So if f value is greater than f critical, then we reject null. Obviously here, the value of f value is greater than the value of f critical. So here, we reject null. Since we rejected null here, meaning we have to accept what the alternative hypothesis is saying. Let's go and see what the alternative hypothesis says. The alternative hypothesis states that the mean cholesterol is not the same in individuals on all three drugs. Now we draw a conclusion. A conclusion will be based on the fact that we accepted what the alternative hypothesis says. We've succeeded in answering all the questions. I hope this video helps. Please do well to like this video. Leave an amazing comment. Share this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much. Bye.